Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're here on part two on how to make a gingerbread house. If you did not see part one, I would recommend going and watching that. So now that you guys have trimmed off the edges and they're totally even with the cardboard, mine's a little short, but it's okay if they're a little bit short, you're going to want to get the cardboard again. Put it down. Like, okay, this was. Like that. So the styrofoam or a gold or. So the styrofoam box is right next to a cardboard. But all the car the cardboard roof is on the cardboard. And with your pen, you just gonna trace that. Push down. And, and you're gonna do you're gonna move it next to it and do that also. Cover the pen back up, and now cut it out. So you, you guys go ahead and do that. going to need so after you're done cut it, cutting it out you're going to need your clear duct tape again and like I said earlier if you don't have any clear duct tape you can just use um all you have to use is the color of your house brown if your house is brown use that or if your house is gold you can use that so now or masking tape maybe so with these triangles, you're going to want to line them up. Gonna, now this might be a little bit hard, because if they go over the edge, all you're going to have to do is just cut that off. Oh yeah, so now I kind of, mine got stuck on, that's perfect. Just cut. So now if they go over the edge, all you have to do is get that to get cut off so after you've done that You're going to tape it down with your clear or brown duct tape. Well, actually, yeah, clear or brown duct tape. All you got to do, measure the bottom like that. Get your exacto knife and cut it. So it's the same length as the bottom. Do that again. Cut it. Now, it, now what you want to do is you want to line them up with the edges. Cut it and another strip that size. Oh my, that didn't cut. And another strip that size.
So, so really now you just cut out four strips and all. So with the strips that are measured the length of the bottom of your gingerbread house, that you measure like that, you're going to want to stick it up, take this off, put them on the bottom, maybe like about quarter inch on. If it sticks over the side like that, just bend it, stick around the back. Stick it on like that, and tape it down. Now if it has, has any sticking over, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the exact knife for this. You guys don't have to, do whatever you want. If you guys wanna cut it off, Now we're going to want to do with these two strips, so you don't want to stick down the sides. Then stick it down on this side. Now do the back. Wait, no. Now, with this piece that you already cut that, that measures the length of the bottom put it on the bottom like quarter inch on and tape it down Now we're gonna get the clear or brown or yeah the clear or brown duct tape, and again you're gonna lay it down and measure the side like this. Cut it, and again, and cut that. So now put the exacto knife aside. Well, no, don't. You have to put it aside. Get these pieces and get these pieces and stick them down. And same on the other side. Now if any of you guys are going to make this, because I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that no, that did, that has a video on this, and, and if you guys saw it from my video, um, if you guys want to make this, do say that, um, that things made out of duct tape came up with this, because I did 100%, I did not look at anybody else. So now that, so now that you got this, you're going to get your gold, your gold or brown duct tape. Brown would probably be the best. I don't have any. And I'm almost out, so I'm going to have to probably use a different color. The bottom, if you're almost out of duct tape, you, you don't have to cover up the full bottom, just like the corners. Anyways, anyways, let's not talk about that right now. Take duct tape. What you're gonna do? Put this flat and and lay it out and make the duct tape go all the way around. Well, yeah.
Now we're gonna do do the same a little bit up, and I and I would prefer overlapping them, just just a little bit overlapping the tape. That would really help if you overlap the tape. And then, instead of covering it right there, you're just going to cut it going up. Do the side. Now, when, when we're at the side, all the one, the one make it a little bit. So what you're going to do is just place it like that. Try to make sure there's no air bubbles or wrinkles or whatever people call them. And cut it. Yeah, and I don't know if, the, if you guys can see it, but every time I cut, I'm cutting it, I'm kind of making it longer and flipping it over the edge. Now, I'm, I, I made it sticking out like that over the edge. You guys should do that also. Same on this side. So basically all you're doing is just trying to cover up all of it, all of the house with this golden, with this golden duct tape. Oh, sorry. So yeah, all, all we're going to do is completely cover this up and I'll see you and I'll see you in the next episode. I'll see you in episode 3 on how to make a duct tape gingerbread house.